Hello everybody, it is Gage with Battle Angel Gaming and this is a review, not a review, this is a video of, it's going to be part one of a two part, I guess you can call it a two part deal, on, wanted to make a double video, this came from the idea of uh, hating, I hate conservative nerds and I hate liberal nerds, really conservative nerds more because you just the one you really hear about. Uh, so, anyways, I want to see that, but there's to it. You know, you see on video, you see, and I'm going to name names, I don't care anymore. You see channels like Geeks and Gamers, The Quarter Lane, and stuff like that. The Concert, and kind of like the Concert and stuff. But I I used to watch them, but it's like, no, really. But anyways, reason why I hate conservative nerds is because... They just complain about this. One is just, just complain about the same thing over and 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 over. But yeah, I mean, when I was watching the back in the Captain Marvel thing came out, I was watching some videos on Geeks and Gamers, and it's just. You know, complaining about Brie Larson and all that. I was like, cool, okay. You know, she is kind of a bitch. Okay, I get that. But months and months later, after, you know, a normal person, okay, I don't forget about it. A month later, they still making videos. Come on, it's the same thing over again. Jesus Christ, man. They're, when they run out of ideas, they post the same videos because they got to get the ad revenue. That's all they really care about is that ad revenue. So they complain about the same thing over and over and over and over and over. So, and no, they're kind of rude. And just, most of them are like Nick Beards, fat with no life, borderline incels. So, and there's like, in there was a couple of weeks ago where the, uh, the Corlin, that guy, jerk off, whoops, but anyways, I saw him making a video on how Dollar Shave Club dropped him as a sponsor. Why make it, why make a video on that, bro? Oh, uh, I wasn't woke enough, so they dropped me. Who gives a shit? If if you're not, why make a video about it? That's between you and Dollar Shade Club. You want to make a video because you want people to click on that video because you get your ass revenue. And you want to bitch about everything being woke, 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 woke. Of course, I hate that side too, but I don't constantly complain about it. I don't care. I ignore it. If you, you ignore it, you let it bother you. Then it becomes a playing field. You just ignore it and move on. But, yeah, and I watched a couple of his videos in the past. It just makes me, it's just really cringy. Just constantly complains about this. And not, they're not really about getting the game. They just, all they really like to do is complain about identity politics. I mean, it is crappy, but like I said, you just ignore it. I ignored it when I was watching The Last Jedi. I ignored it when I was playing The Last of Us. You, all you have to do is turn your brain off to it. Now, if it's, like, prominent, yeah, I have a problem. But if it's, like, here and there, don't care. You're just as mad because things ain't the way they were. That's really what it is. And you bitch about it because you want your ad revenue. Don't lie to me and say you don't care about ad revenue because back when channels were getting demonetized, what was it, last year, 2019, they were like, oh, they're taking our freedom of speech away. They're doing this. They're, you know, taking our. They just demonetize you. If they were really wanting to take your freedom, freedom of speech away, they would have banned your channel and turned it off. No, they're just demonetizing you. The only reason why you are mad is because you don't get your ad revenue and you have to work a nine to five job like the rest of us. I mean, it's there, it's here, it's everywhere. You just want your head. And what was this? I forgot his name. I'm not going to look him up because I'm too lazy. But there was this guy. He, I think he's on Geeks Gamer. Uh, his streams got, he got turned off from the streams or whatever. And he's like, uh, he went to Twitch. 
Yeah, like that's smart. If you're complaining about Twitch is a little bit more on the left than YouTube is, go and then you have to start over. Get a link there, buddy. And watch this stream. He was streaming Hearthstone for about three hours. Then he got his uh, YouTube stream back on, and he just went back to YouTube. All they want is ad revenue. That's all they really care about. They don't care. They, I mean, if they did, they 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 make the same video over and over, over and over and over again. Oh, what's today's video going to be about? Uh, I don't have any ideas. What was yesterday's video about? Okay, what was it? The Last of Us being two SJW. Did we miss anything? We re okay. We'll rehash some of it and then make up some things just to make the video seem new. We gotta get our ad revenue, people. We just have to. Okay? Yeah. But anyways, um, that's that's all that on that part. But like I said, they're just a bunch of neck beards that have no life. And like I said, they kind of. They, there's, and not only that, I don't see the problem in a lot of things. Just turn your brain off to it. The nitpick every little thing that, 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 If you notice, if you look at it from a central standpoint, central standpoint, you see that SJWs and these go woke, broke, go broke type people, they're, they, they're the same. Both sides nitpick at small little things. Both sides only care about personal validation in the form of likes and follows. Personal validation in the form of ad revenue and clicks, because ad revenue brings them money, which don't really amount to shit. But they gotta have it, and they want the people to follow them because of the ad revenue. And geeks and gamers, that Jeremy dude is just an asshole. He is an asshole. He talks like an asshole. He looks like an asshole. He just thinks like an asshole and. He's an ass. But anyways, that is why I do not like conservative gamers or nerds. Because they constantly complain about the same thing over and over and over again. It's because they got to make their ad revenue. They only care about ad revenue. They really don't care about freedom of speech. And they're just neckbeard incels that don't have a life. And that's all I got to say. Like, comment, what you don't like about him or you like about him you're one of those people let me hear your points viewpoints and i will see you soon peace yeah.